The Egg Thief, a greatly misunderstood theropod of the late Cretaceous. This is the Overraptor. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host, Tall, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Overraptor. But before we do, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive that we do here on the channel because we are covering every single animal in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. Also, you can join and become a member on this channel and unlock cool icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with us. Comment down below a dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. Leave us a dino size thumbs up. And with that being said, let's jump right into everything you need to know about the amazing Overraptor. So what does the name Oviraptor mean? Well, Oviraptor is derived from the Latin word that means egg thief, because paleontologists initially thought that this creature was an egg-stealing, egg-eating dinosaur. More on that later. And we have to open this episode right up with a big old side note. The Oviraptor lent its name to a whole family of dinosaurs, the Oviraptorids. Oviraptorids are a group of bird-like herbivorous and omnivorous maniraptorian dinosaurs known only from late Cretaceous Asia. These are characterized by their toothless, parrot-like like beaks and in some cases elaborate crests. Oviraptor is the most primitive known oviraptid and then there's Oviraptorsaurus or egg thief lizards, a group of feathered maniraptorian dinosaurs from the Cretaceous period of what is now Asia and North America. It's pretty confusing at this point, I <laughs> don't blame you, I'm confused myself, but anyways in this episode when we say oviraptor we are talking about the oviraptor philoceratops, an oviraptorid thought to have a fineness or for eating ceratopsian eggs. All right, side note over. So where and when did the Oviraptor live? Well, this creature lived in what is now Mongolia during the late Cretaceous, about 80 to 75 million years ago. The first known remains of the Oviraptor were discovered in 1923 in the Jachota Formation of Mongolia in the Gobi Desert. So what did this creature actually look like? Well, the Oviraptor was bipedal, meaning it walked on two long, well-developed hind limbs. It had long, slender forelimbs with three clawed fingers. This creature had a short skull with very large eyes surrounding by a bony ring. Its skull also had a bony crest above the snout, and its jaws lacked teeth, but were probably protected with a horny beak-like covering. Like most oviraptorids, the oviraptor most likely had feathers, and it was a rather small oviraptorid, estimated to be between 5.2 feet or 1.6 meters long, around 2 feet or 0.6 meters tall, and weighed around 73 to 88 pounds or 33 to 40 kilograms. Now, did the oviraptor ever get famous? The oviraptor was also seen in the Disney movie Dinosaur, actually stealing an egg in the beginning of the movie. While it's not a household name like, say, the Velociraptor, it did make a number of appearances in popular culture, so I would say this dinosaur is a pretty famous dinosaur. The Oviraptor appeared in TV series such as Dinosaur Planet, Museum Secrets, and Planet Dinosaur. It was also featured in video games like Dino King 2, Roblox, Era of Terror, as well as its remake Era of Terror Remastered, Parkasaurus, Ark Survival Evolved, and as the Primal Carnage games. The Oviraptor is also part of the Jurassic franchise. It was briefly mentioned in the original novel, how However, it wasn't one of the dinosaurs cloned by InGen. It also appeared in some video games. This dinosaur can be seen in the SNES game Jurassic Park 2 The Chaos continues. It also appeared as an enemy in the Game Gear version of the Lost World Jurassic Park. The Oviraptor is also in Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder and in Jurassic World Alive. And the Oviraptor is one of the new species introduced in Jurassic World Dominion. Now, no spoilers for this because we can't really spoil it, uh, but the Oviraptor was one of the more minor dinosaurs in the film because it didn't actually come out in the film itself. Uh, it barely had a scene. It was only featured pretty much in the prologue, but we do know that the Oviraptor was cut from the main version of Jurassic World Dominion that was released in theaters recently. And it's very exciting because it's one of the few first dinosaurs to be featured fully feathered in the Jurassic franchise. We do see a beautiful depiction of it in the caves in the Dominion prologue where you do see it stealing an egg or cracking an egg open. And we do know that an extended version of Jurassic World Dominion is going to be hitting stores soon where a potentially a scene of the Lystrosaurus and the Oviraptor fighting is supposed to take place. Whether or not this will actually happen depending on when this video comes out, we don't know, but that's something to definitely look forward to. So yeah, in Dominion, it was still portrayed as an egg munching monster. And then again, this is a movie, a work of fiction. There will be scientific inaccuracies as there always are in the Jurassic franchise. Okay, let's move on to this egg thief's diet and behavior. There's really no hard evidence that this creature ever fed on dinosaur eggs. Because the oviraptor possessed a short beak with no teeth, it could have presumably eaten anything. This raptor is speculated to have been an omnivore or one that ate both plants and animals. 
veggies, and meat. One clue is the remains of a lizard that was found in what would have been an oviraptor's stomach. It's also possible that the oviraptor used its beak to break the shells of clams and mollusks that were common in the area of that time. So its diet probably consisted of plants, insects, small animals, seeds, and fruit. It may have also fed on other dinosaurs' eggs. Who actually knows? Then again, it's all speculation at this point. The creature's gotta eat something, right? Now let's get back to its name, oviraptor. When paleontologists found the first known oviraptor fossils lying on a nest, they guessed that this animal was robbing the eggs of protoceratops. The oviraptor specimen in question has its skull crushed. It was thought that with injury was inflicted by a protoceratops that was guarding the nest. Scientists imagine that this oviraptor was killed by a sandstorm while trying to steal the egg. Long story short, during its discovery in the 1920s, paleontologists believed that oviraptor was preying on eggs of another species of dinosaur. A study in the 1990s, however, proved that our oviraptor was just protecting its own brood of eggs, probably from a sandstorm or dune collapse. So yeah, this is how our misunderstood and misjudged mama got branded in with a notorious name that is some sort of thief. <laughs> so the Oviraptor is a great example of how paleontology sometimes doesn't get everything right. But that being said, Oviraptor has to be one of the coolest species of dinosaur that exists ever. It's so awesome and it's been awesome for such a long time. I'm so excited to hopefully see this guy get a shine of light in paleo media coming in the near future. If you love this awesome prehistoric creature, then smack us with a dinosaur sized thumbs up because we are covering all of the animals and prehistoric creatures in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchise, including every animal in Jurassic World Dominion. Of course, also subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single dino quick dive or prehistoric animal quick dive we do on this channel. And of course, if you want to support this channel, you can send us some money on PayPal down below in the description or become a member on the channel where you'll unlock cool icons and emojis where you can use to interact with us on this channel. Leave us a dino-sized thumbs up. Comment down below, prehistoric creature you like to see in the future. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.